And finally, nucleic acids. Without nucleic acids, you wouldn't be able to make proteins. And cells wouldn't have instructions in terms of how to do what they do. So nucleic acids are made of a sequence of nucleotides. So once again, the nucleotide. These are the monomers. And something like a whole DNA molecule, that would be the polymer. A bunch of these nucleotides strung together. And a nucleotide is a phosphate, sugar, and base. And you're going to see this in, uh, in greater detail in a future lesson. But what I'm drawing here is a very simplistic representation of the phosphate, which is phosphorus with oxygen. Uh, the sugar, which if it's DNA, it's called deoxyribose. If it's RNA, it's called ribose. Um, it's a five-sided pentose sugar. And then a base, the, the different bases, nitrogenous bases, whether they're A's, G's, C's, or T's, you may have heard about those before. Uh, these make up the genetic code in terms of the sequence of them in the polymer of DNA uh, or in RNA. I have a little jingle that I made up to remember what is in the nucleotide of DNA or RNA. Um, so it's a jingle that says phosphate sugar base, your DNA determines your face. And it's true. It rhymes, so it helps you remember it. Um, you could think of it as a country song. It'd be like, phosphate, sugar, base. Your DNA determines your face. Um, whatever works, but that's how I remember it. So DNA and RNA, whether it's um, deoxyribose or ribose, means whether or not it's going to be deoxyribonucleic acid, which is the full name for this, or ribonucleic acid. And in the lesson on how DNA actually is made into protein, um, you, you're going to hear a lot more about uh, the structural purposes of DNA and RNA and how they uh, actually have functionality in terms of making this uh, information in DNA work. How does it actually end up making proteins in a cell? But yeah, it does store genetic information and it transmits that code for the purposes of making protein. And, and this code is passed on from generation to generation. And over time, over the eons, it does change. Mutations, a lot of times they're bad in terms of um, these bases being changed in DNA, but mutations can be a good thing. And that's the key to evolution, which we'll talk about in a future lesson. If you're wondering what the heck is this, this is a type of RNA called T. RNA, transfer RNA. Um, so there are several kinds of tRNA. Uh, the letter or letters in front of RNA tell you what kind it is specifically. This is a really cool computer generated image of, you can see kind of this single stranded, you can trace the RNA down the whole way. It's folded up uh, RNA polymer, but it has a very specific structure, a three dimensional structure. On the bottom here is something called an anticodon and up at the top, you have an amino acid there. This is an easier way to think about it. And actually, when I picture tRNAs, I picture this. It looks like a T. And these actually participate in um, putting together amino acids. It's something called a ribosome. And these are very important. Without these, you're not going to get the building of a protein. And um, cells wouldn't exist as they do in nature. Thanks for watching Educator.com.